dear students welcome to our online classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science gsi pu college mysore students in our previous session we were discussing about the algorithm and we have written examples now let us continue with one more example today algorithm <coughs> to find factorial of a number next one is to find factorial of a number 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is equals to 120 so how do we find <coughs> the factorial of a number given number see suppose given number is 5 from 1 up to 5 we have to keep multiplying the number this is the logic case first i will take one variable let it be 1 fact equals to 1 it cannot be 0 because anything multiplied by 0 will be 0 that is the reason we will assume that let one variable fact let it be equal to 1 now first what we do is this fact equals to fact into 1 first time i will multiply this second time i am going to multiply fact equals to fact into 2 here first time fact equal to 1 1 into 1 it is 1 next time fact value of fact is 1 so this is 1 into 2 that is 2 so next we have to multiply with next number is 3 again fact equals to fact into 3 that is fact value is 2 here 2 into 3 6 and again <coughs> fact equals to fact into 4 that is fact value is 6 here 6 into 4 that is 24 next fact equals to fact into 5 that is 24 into 5 that is 120 so <coughs> finally what is the factorial of a number given number 5 factorial is 120 see how we got this answer here by assuming let one variable be fact equals to 1 and by multiplying from 1 up to 5 because the given number is 5 from starting number 1 we have to keep multiplying numbers from 1 to 5 and store the intermediate result in the variable fact here so here first time is 1 2 3 4 5 if you observe this what is happening here is this formula is same fact equal to fact into 1 fact equal to fact into 2 only this column if you observe this only this column is going to change from 1 to given number 5 so this is a logic to find factorial of a given number so let us write an algorithm with this logic here so step 1 <coughs> first we have to start an algorithm step 1 is we should know the value of the number or we should know what is the number so that is n if i say first read i will take variable is n this is step 1 what is the next step here next step is step 2 is i am using one more variable and assign a value 1 to it this says the step this is fact equal to 1 next step is here fact equal to fact into 1 this this is repeated number of times so this says repeated number of time that we have tried so that is we write like this see step 3 so here we have to repeat repeat the steps so here from where from this one up to 5 so repeat the steps for value of i equals to 1 2 5 means here i am taking these values 1 2 3 4 as variable i here so i want to repeat these steps number of times or from starting from 1 up to 5 the given number so that's i'm writing in the steps like this 
there is a repeat for i is equal to 1 to 5. What is the formula here? Fact equals to fact into it is not in, in the place of 1, 2, 3, 4. I am writing here i. So, what is the meaning of this? <coughs> meaning is i value keeps changing. In st first time it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This, re this repeats till the given number 5. After this, we have to close this step that is end of step 3. End of step 3 step 3. So at the end of step 3 some value will be stored in the variable fact. So we had to print that that is step 4 step 4 that is print print fact because the variable is fact we have to say print fact or we can say output fact then we have to end this algorithm. So here so we have to observe this here we are using this one statement here for repeating the same steps number of times so this is repetition of <coughs> formula only keeps changing the value of i that is from 1 to 5 so this is an example or an algorithm to find factorial of a given number next one is to find fibonacci series algorithm to find fibonacci series to find or generate Fibonacci series. <coughs> Friends, what is Fibonacci series? It starts with 0, second term is 1 and next one is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and so on. So this is Fibonacci series. The Fibonacci series starts with the term, this is first term 0, second term is 1 and next successive terms we will get it by adding previous two terms. So suppose if you say this first term, second term and this is third term. In third term how do we get third term here? By adding 0 plus 1. That is 0 plus 1 is nothing but 0 is your first term plus second term. By adding previous first and second term, you will get third term here. Next, how do we get 2 here? By adding these two here. So here in this example, at the first time, the second number. So this becomes your second number. This becomes your first number. In that case, so this is, this is third number. Third number is first plus second number. We have to assign the value of second as a first term and value of third term as second term. We do that with the steps like this. Here say my first number is second term and second number is third term. To get this term here, this should be, this is second term, second term should be first term and third term should be second term. So this is, then again the same you have to add these two, that is f plus yes, you will get next term that is 2. In order to get this number, replace second term with first term, third term with second term to get next series that is 3. It goes like this. So the, the series we can generate up to n terms. So this is called Fibonacci series. I repeat students, Fibonacci series, the first term in the series is 0, second term is 1 and we get the successive terms by adding previous two terms. Let us write an algorithm to generate Fibonacci series. We will start algorithm. First start algorithm, step 1. Step 1 is read, read n, n is the number, till what number we have to generate series. In this example if I say n is 13, we have to stop at 13. So this value of n is nothing but generate series up to given number. Step 2, step 2 is initialize the values, f first term equals to 0 and 
second term equals to 1 this is step 2 I am using one more term term 2 this is to count number of terms means we have to stop at certain condition so f equal to 0 s equal to 1 term equal to 3 this is step 2 step 3 We have to print these numbers main first term and second term we have to say step 3 print f and yes it going to print first and second term step 4 step 4 is to find third number that is first plus second step 5 Step 5 repeat following statements the term less than or equals to n given number from here term less than n means we have to stop at the given number here isn't it so we have to repeat the following steps till we reach this number so what we have to repeat we have to print this number so under this print th means is going to print third term after print third term assign the value so your second term will be your first term and your third term will be your second term add the number third term equals first plus second so we have to add third term that is first plus second generate third term increment that is term equals to term plus 1 so what is the meaning of this statement here is see as soon as it generates it prints the third term it it increment by 1 next it print it goes on like this term 3 4 5 up to the given number n that is a condition here so these steps are going to repeat as long as the term will be less than or equals to n so that is where we have to stop this series next this is end of step end of step 5 this is end of step 5 so here step 1 up to step 5 we have we are printing or we are generating the series with the help of this formula or with the help of this logic already we have generated this series next we have to stop an algorithm that is after this next is n i repeat once again what is fibonacci series the series start with term 1 0 and 1 third term will be 1 how do we get third term by adding previous two term next one more next term is 1 plus 1 how do we do that by replacing second term as first term third term as second term in the series it goes like this 3 5 and so on up to the number given or up to the number we have accepted so this is an algorithm to generate fibonacci series next we move on to next concept analysis of algorithm now in my previous session i had told about problem analysis there we were discussing about the types of input and desired output and additional information similarly how do we analyze an algorithm suppose each and every problem has different approach or it has a solution with many methods to solve a particular problem for example if I given any problem to you, so here one student can write an algorithm with one of the logic, second student and third student. So he might have written algorithm with his own logic or with his own methods. And how can we say that which is the best algorithm? How can we decide the best algorithm among all the three or among different algorithm written for a particular problem or a particular solution so that is nothing but analysis of algorithm so analysis of algorithm it depends on the following two points that is one is space complexity that is space complexity second one is time complexity 
second one is time complexity space complexity amount of space amount of space occupied or used used by an algorithm by an algorithm this is one factor second factor is time complexity means amount of time amount of time taken by an algorithm to complete to complete its execution to complete its execution students based on these two factors we can analyze the algorithm or we can decide that which is the algorithm best and which is the which is an average algorithm so here space complexity suppose the amount of space taken or utilized by this algorithm to execute a program that is important here so it based on this it is space complexity and time complexity what is time complexity means the amount of time it take it takes to complete its execution for example if you have written an algorithm with 100 lines so here in 100 lines of algorithm what is the space taken by an algorithm in the computer memory that is the one factor and second factor is that the time taken to complete is all 100 lines of instruction analysis of algorithm based on these two factor space complexity and time complexity this algorithm can also be analyzed depending on the types of input so depending on depending on the types of input we can have three cases one is best case best case average case average case and next one is worst case worst case so we can analyze this algorithm based on the input what we have given or types of data or types of input based on this we can have three levels of or three types of cases so what is the best case here the best case is the amount of time taken amount of time taken to complete an algorithm or to or complete the execution with with best possible data with best possible data this is the best case and what the average case same thing here the amount of time the amount of time taken taken to complete or execute algorithm with average average data with average data average values worst case this is again the amount of time taken by an algorithm to complete its instructions or to execute all its instructions with worst possible data with worst possible data so here students algorithm can be analyzed with the different types of data we input in order to get a solution so based on this we have three cases one is the best case average case and worst case the best case is that where we are using the best possible data and average case the amount of time taken by algorithm to complete its execution with average data and again the worst case is the amount of time taken by algorithm to complete its execution of all instructions with worst possible data or combination so here what is the meaning of all, the, all these things very simple example is that area of a circle that is a is equal to pi r square isn't it so here 
we have written already algorithm for this. So here, in while well, writing the formula for this, either we can write as a is equals to 3.14 into r squared or into r. This is one formula. And same formula can al also be written as 22 by 7 into r into r. So if you look into that, the value of pi is either we can write 3.1416 or 22 by 7. So based on this here, if you apply the formula, if you write an algorithm in this, the time taken to process these two methods are different and not same. Please note students, if you write formula like this with 3.14, it uh, time taken to process this type of data is different and if you write 22 by 7 and multiply by r into r, the time taken by an algorithm to complete execution of this statement is different. So with the help of this, we can find out the, we can analyze the algorithm with, for, with these three different cases. Next definition is time space trade off trade off. We have learned just now the best algorithm is the one which takes less space in the computer memory and it takes less time to complete its algorithm. So but practically it is not possible. Either we can have space constraint we have or time constraint constraint I mean to say it is very rare case or difficult to write an algorithm by fulfilling these two factors practically it is not possible or very rare case or we have to write an algorithm then in that case we have to compromise with any of the things again it depends on the programmer or the user the programmer if you want to concentrate or if you want to very particular about the space taken by algorithm then he has to ignore this time here or is he is very much interested to complete the program algorithm at fast rate and irrespective of the space taken by an algorithm he has to compensate with space constraint or time constraint. So this status or condition is called time space trade-off. That means that practically it is impossible to have or rarely we can have this type of condition. Otherwise the user or the program has to compensate with any of this factor. So this is time space trade-off. Next definition is stepwise refinement technique stepwise refinement technique technique the meaning of refinement is nothing but conversion conversion what is the meaning of stepwise refinement technique here in in writing a program an algorithm there, sh there should be a conversion you know what is a conversion conversion from source program to object program or converting algorithm into source program that is a conversion so stepwise refinement technique is nothing but conversion in conversion takes place in each and every step of an algorithm so that is here refinement if you want to write a program we have we will start with an algorithm so from algorithm to program or we write algorithm and convert into a program there between we will have number of steps number of stages that is nothing but stepwise refinement it has three stages first one is informal language that is your algorithm that is algorithm and second stage is formal language formal language that is nothing but pseudocode pseudocode or pseudo programming 
pseudo program and final step is the program this is program it is nothing but coding coding with the help of any of the computer high level language the coding it comes here before algorithm so after writing algorithm or flowchart of next step is coding so what is coding coding is nothing but translation of algorithm into a program so here if you want to write a program it should be in any of the computer language so in between this between this we may have number of stages whenever you write an algorithm for a particular program at the first time when you sit for writing algorithm you write first time you may write around 20 lines of instructions to complete a solution to a particular problem second time you just you modify what you written in the first time second time so second time if you written algorithm it is slightly better than first time so when you when you write for third time it is still better as compared to previous first and second time what you have written so this is nothing but step wise refinement and finally maybe at the end of fourth time or maybe fifth time if you have written that would be better algorithm what you have written first time what you have written it is raw algorithm it is informal and at the end of fifth time it is algorithm it looks or it would be better so that is it takes to reach from here that is from algorithm to write a coding or to reach to this stage in between there may be many stages or many steps that is nothing but conversion or if we use the word refinement or conversion every step what you have written in algorithm that will be converted or it has to be in a better format that is nothing but step wise refinement technique in order to get a final algorithm or final program and here i use the word pseudo code what is pseudo code pseudo code or pseudo program it is nothing but a description it is description of flow of logic flow of logic in a program see first when you start algorithm it is informal language after you will reach this stage where pseudo code it is a formal language where writing pseudo code we are following some syntax of some language that is pseudo code so pseudo code would be the next stage of algorithm algorithm is informal when you convert algorithm into pseudo code this it, this is also nothing but a number step by step procedure to solve a problem it indicates description of flow of logic it is almost similar to that but here we are using better terms and conditions or we are writing pseudo code by looking at or by knowing the syntax and conditions of particular language so this is formal language let me summarize what we have discussed today see we have started the session with two examples of algorithm that is one is fibonacci series and factorial then I have given a definition of what is time trade off and step wise refinement apart from that we have discussed the analysis of algorithm there are two constraints one is space complexity second one is time complexity the space complexity is nothing but the space taken by algorithm in the computer memory to complete its execution and time complexity is nothing but the time taken by an algorithm to complete or execute all its instructions and based on the input we have entered or what feed into computer we have different cases of um, analysis that is best case where we are using the best possible combination of input day input or data and average case where we we may have to use the average data or values and the worst case there we may use the worst possible combination of input or values so this is what i have discussed today let us meet in my next session thank you very much